That's a walking legend right there. Legendary. They whisper about him in corners. They whisper about him. Have you, have you heard? They pass well, have you heard of the... Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Calling all kings to the table. Calling all kings to the table. We're going to listen to this one. We're going to dive in deep with this one. Calling all the queens too. Because this is something that a large number of women need to pay attention to and listen to. Especially when we talk about be careful who you listen to. I told you it was coming. Shout out to my girl Remnant Princess on this one. We're going to get into it. Grab your shoulder pads and your helmet and walk eight miles into the end zone with your boy. Let's get this work. Did you learn, did you learn how not to be desperate? Did you didn't learn from me? Did you hear when I said stop being desperate? Did, did you hear when I said don't be a pygmesia? Did you hear when I talked about background checks? Did you hear when I talked when I talked about all this other stuff? about not dealing with men if you have kids until they're old and grown enough to speak for themselves and be in school and whatnot. Did you not hear when I said all of that? Don't blame me. I, I tell people all the time, don't say my name if you are desperate and being Pigmesia. Don't. A buttermilk biscuit, big back bitch. She knows what areas, what audience to target. Broken women. Hard-headed, stubborn, modern feminist women. That's her audience. That's who she targets. Nothing more, nothing less. And a large number of you women are dumb enough to sit there and listen to her. Yet alone follow her. Her and Priscilla. But see, this is an eye-opener. Everything that they telling you of what to do they don't do behind closed doors number one number two they life ain't right there's turmoil in their lives but these are the two ladies that want to try to give y'all advice and y'all dumb enough stupid enough to fall for it don't claim me if you desperate if you are desperate and you're not smart enough to get the bag flip the money have options. If you stupid, don't claim me. <laughs> Your IQ is low. Please don't claim me. I teach women to be smart. You teach women how to make dumb decisions. And you don't teach them the repercussions of their decision making. I'm sorry, honey, you don't. How are you going to teach women how to be smart and your ass ain't smart? Again, what I teach men on this show, and women as well, facial micros is everything. From facial expressions to body language is everything. She know what she's selling. Y'all stupid enough to buy it. it was Shira Seven's reaction. And I'm going to dive in a little bit more about what Shira Seven teaches and how much it impacted the trophy wife, aka Isis, and what her whole stance is. What is she actually telling these females? Because there's always an end goal with every message that a messenger is sending. Before I do get into that, I did gather up a few reactions of what people had to say about the trophy wife's story and why she is no longer married to her husband if they had a divorce or not but why ultimately that relationship has ended and we're just going to listen to what they have to say about it so i'm scrolling on my for you page and i keep seeing trophy wife situation trend and i really want to commend her because it takes a lot of strength to walk away from a situation where you know you're comfortable in and i always tell you ladies that you need to make sure you can afford to leave like it's a big fucking i don't give a shit about any of this i remember her block 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 that chick i commend you men for leaving a situation that you are no longer appreciated in. 
I commend you men for stepping up and walking away from a toxic from a woman that is toxic and a woman that is a narcissist. I commend you men for standing up and standing your ground, letting your yes be yes and your no me no. As men, we have to continue to encourage each other. We have to continue to lift up each other. We have to continue to press through that pain. I commend you men for finding that backbone, getting enough energy, enough strength to walk away, to say I had enough. I will not be treated like this or I can be treated better. I have options. Then you exercise those options. I commend you men on that. And nobody talks shit about her situation like, oh, that's what happens when you choose a man with money because these dusties be doing worse and do the same. So I commend her for putting her kids first and being able to afford to leave. And girl, let me tell you something. The fact that you built a community around it, you can now sustain the lifestyle for you and your kids in a safe environment. So don't listen to any negative talk. My heart goes out to you. You're going to get through this and you're going to be 10 times strong. Folk don't like it when you expose they ass. Shira Seven and Priscilla are being exposed left and right and right to left. All lies will be exposed. And those who take it the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. Y'all want to sit here and bash the new trophy wife all day, every day, but y'all want to know who y'all don't bash enough for me? It's the women who actually stay in situations like this. Yeah, yeah. It's the women who wouldn't have the level of account accountability and self-awareness that the new trophy wife had to be able to get up and leave that situation and take ownership. Because aside from a lot of women who don't leave these situations, a lot of them also have no accountability for their part in the traumatic events that took place to their children due to their own decisions right there's a lot of women who don't have accountability but see y'all just like to keep people when they're down that's what it is that's what y'all like to do on this app and in real life i respect a transparent and accountable woman who is self-aware of her actions and does better moving forward than i will ever respect a couldn't be me type of person because let me tell you one thing about life life is gonna humble you Okay, life will show you, oh, it actually could be you. You know, she's right, life will humble you, and that's what it's doing. Is she were seven, and those that follow she were seven, life will humble you. Not only will life humble you, but reality will come up from behind you and put your dumb ass in a guillotine chokehold. Let's talk about that. You never know. Them words should never come out your mouth. Couldn't be me. Oh, no. She's an accountable woman. She's moving forward accordingly. That's it. That's it. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing else. Zip it. Zip it. And then the pick me's who try to use this as an opportunity to, you know, promote their whole, oh, yeah, this is why I don't want no man doing nothing for me. What about the broke men who do this too? Okay? What about the broke men who do the same thing her rich husband did it's not about the tax bracket it's about when people are sick in the head i'm sorry i mean i'm sorry but pigeons are disgusting they're dirty they're vile they're disease ridden oh and they're ugly what about the broke women that do this shit what about the broke women that sit up there and have all these highest expectations and play men and run game on men we want to talk about accountability what about the women that ain't got no money What about the broke hers out there? You got broke ease. What about the broke hers out there? You got a lot of broke hers out there. You have a lot of women that are broken. But have the audacity to get up here and say some outlandish shit. It has nothing to do with nothing. So stop trying to use it to feed into your delusional pick me narrative. Stop it. It's not cute. And you look crazy. Anyways, that's my rant. <laughs> The sun is sunning today, though. Barbecue, brisket, meat, sandwich. Females are good at. They like to blame everybody else except 
for the female herself now i know a lot of people under the comments have been saying is this true is this not true i don't believe her some believe her there's a lot of things that haven't really been concrete as in proof to know if she lied or not although what got me about these reaction is why did they refer back to the dusties what does it have to do about average men it's not only that why are you blaming men for the damn choices that your ass made you blaming men for the choices you made that's like a large number of black women coming for black men because they chose to vote for Trump what type of sense does that make and does it really hold any weight all the advice that Shira Seven has given were trash misinformation bad advice and y'all women are dumb enough and stupid enough to do what she told you to do and then it backfired on y'all asses now y'all sitting there mad Shira Seven I did what you told me to do and it didn't work of course it didn't work, dumbass. It's about the husband. And this is what females do the best, is they never take accountability for the people that are actually involved, like Isis, the trophy wife. We're also going to take a look at more reactions as well, as it really disturbed the pot on TikTok. So heartbroken for her, because of course, not only did she build a brand, kind of being this, this man's wife, but she shared her story which i know is really hard to do and i'm seeing all these comments under the youtube video um from women saying like see this is why i as a single mom will never date kind of indirectly kind of saying it's her fault that something happened but listen if you didn't go to a sperm donor you have just as much chance as she did of this happening a man for his money there is a price to pay there is always a price to pay maybe the ex there is always a price to pay and as women we are powerful beings like i preach on my page we can manifest our own wealth nothing is worth the happiness of your children what is gucci and ruchi what is gucci what is louis v Make it, if, if you must have designer, make your own money and buy your own designer. You don't need it. How much wealth do you need as well? I don't care if you shove it up your fucking ass. <laughs> you listen to Shira Seven and take her advice and you go into something, you get what the fuck that you deserve too. Just like simps. When simps lean in with their money and their status and wonder why they ass get played, you get what the fuck you deserve. Same thing. When you women sit up there and listen to Shira Seven and take her advice and you leaning in with something, you get what the fuck do you deserve. Own it, take responsibility, take your L, take your shoulder pads and your helmet and walk the fuck on. They are demonic. And again, you've got the power within yourself to manifest your own reality. You can manifest your own wealth. Stop being a gold digger. If you're if you are bringing a man into your children's life please don't wear no damn bonnet while you doing it I'm getting sick and tired of hearing women make comments with their damn bonnets on if you're gonna bring a child into this world don't wear no fucking bonnet please 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 always be and maybe it's because I'm a Scorpio, but always be on guard and always keep something in your mind that it can possibly or might happen because people are surprising. OK, people, you don't put past you don't put things past people. OK, you teriyaki, tomahawk, steak, big, big, big. make no mistake about that. Once again. If you're going to tell a story, tell the whole story from both sides.
she's never going to think about it because why that's a husband that's the father of the children he's taking care of his children he definitely she would definitely be worshiping him this is a supportive husband now, finding out that your husband is a predator and he abused your children the children you had with him is disgusting the fact that people are acting like she did something wrong by marrying a man who could provide for her is disgusting if you don't shut the fuck up man. like asking a question what woman would do that to her own children what woman would victimize victimize her own children what woman would get pregnant by a man leave the children with the man and go off talking about she want to live her best life she want to be free she don't want to be a mother no more she doesn't want to be a wife anymore now that man is stuck having to raise one or two children by himself because the mother flipped out and decided that she wanted to victimize her children and leave her household and leave her marriage. Nobody want to talk about that, huh? Okay. The real issue is a lot of females think that being a provider is about a man having money. Although, this is where I'm going to talk about Shira Seven, who really likes to make it known that being with an older man is where the bag is at. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Being with an older rich man is where the bag is at and if you are not doing that then you're in the wrong place and we're gonna hear her say it for herself if you are really pretty you need to go for older men who have money okay they feel like they've worked hard all their life and they deserve you so they're not going to be intimidated by you or try to take you down a notch so that they can feel like some sort of a prize they, they it's like a car and it's it's sad to make the comparison, but it is. It's like buying a very nice vehicle, you know, um, for especially a man of means. Oh, no, oh, you dumb bitch. You ever notice, once again, facial micros, she does the best um, when it comes to facial micros and body language. She's good at it. Cause she would never really look directly into the camera. She looked left and right, east to west. And she would never, that's when you know a person full of shit. Hey, to date older men, of course. They're the ones with the most money. Duh. Let me give y'all a tip on dating old dudes. Y'all know those books for people's birthdays that they sell online. You can buy them in some gift shops where it says the year that they were born and like everything that was happening who the president was the price of like food and stuff like that y'all need to get some for like when they were in their prime so let's say when they were in their prime in the 70s you gotta get a book on the 70s and study it <laughs> you gotta know all the presidents the songs that were popular so you can have your playlist ready you gotta find you some vintage outfits and stuff Bitch. I think this is important to talk about to really truly understand Trophy Wife's tactics and how she found herself here. And clearly, Shira Seven said outright, Don't claim her, called her outright stupid. And that's what the sisterhood does. I don't buy these females who don't want Isis, the Trophy Wife, to take accountability for her actions. Because the reason why they will back her up like that is her reality, whatever she put out there, goes against what they want. So they have to really undo what she did. That's why they have to continuously bash, bash the dusties. Because Not only that, but those that behave this way, they losing. Here's the thing. They are fucking losing. I want people to think that going after a rich man is so baseless and useless and they're actually wrong when it comes to what they want in their mentality that they have to still put the blame on everybody else except for the female herself shira seven teaches a lot of these females how to get an older rich man he has to be significantly old and has to be rich in between that she teaches them how to be pretty how to do their hair how to have confidence to get the bad which is an older rich man which is what the trophy wife essentially did now 
a lot of these females what they do is they like to pick and take what Shira 7 says and teaches and they want to use that on the average man and throw it at men all the time trophy wife only did what Shira 7 said to do even though she didn't do it for step by step but the goal is to bag a rich older man and that's where it left her and you gotta use wisdom a large number of women do not want to take responsibility for their actions but they rather put the blame on the man no you will take responsibility